Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of Product Share and Review. It's Saturday, so it's time for a product share. We received these wonderful chalkboard labels in the mail from Magic Mill and I'm going to share them with you and then later on in the video I'm going to share with you a, uh, demonstration. a demonstration and a product code. So, stay tuned. show you what came in the package. I took it out of the package and this is just the header card that it comes with and the back is gives a nice little explanation and kind of display. It also comes with this chalk ink, liquid chalk ink pen that you can use to write on these. What you're going to get is two sheets of these large stickers and these are they're three and a half by two inches and then the other two sheets are identical as well. And you're going to get 18 medium 2.5 by 1.5 and, and 18 small 1.8 by 1 inch stickers. Now I can think of a thousand different things to use this for. Being a crafter, I can totally see myself using these in my mini albums. I can see myself using these as place cards for the holidays. Um, I can see myself doing a lot of things with these. Now that's just me. You could think of a lot of things to do with these as well. I'm going to show you just as a demo what I'm going to use this one thing for. I have taco seasoning in this jar. I don't know if you can see it on there, but mm -hmm. I wrote it on the glass with a Sharpie marker. Yeah. And that's because, you know, you've got to write it on there, otherwise your family doesn't know what the heck it is, and then they reach for it, and it's mm -hmm. not a fun surprise, right? So I'm just going to take a wet wipe here. This is just an antibacterial cleaning wipe. Yeah, that's not brown sugar. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and I'm going to take a paper towel. One thing they say is you want to make sure that this surface is clean and dry. Now, they make some pretty bold claims, I must say. Um, they say these are freezer and dishwasher safe. So you can use these on packaging that you're going to stick in the freezer or in the refrigerator. Um, and also, if you put it on here, you put it in the dishwasher, it's not going to come clean. It's not going to come off. Um, they also have what they're saying is a no questions asked stick for life guarantee. And they say they only use the highest quality materials. So we're going to give this a try. And I'm probably going to use a smaller label. Um, let me use this one and see how we do. You want to put it on a smooth surface. You do want to put it on a smooth, non-porous surface, it and there's says. There's very little smooth surfaces on about our... That's true. But this is taco seasoning, so... Yeah, see. The jar is curved, so... I'm going to use it anyway, but see that ink is dry. That dries pretty fast. Mm -hmm. But now I've got that on there, and um, I'll use this as, an, as another example here. Let's see. I think I stick way better than that. Okay. Let's just do this. Example. I don't know how much I like the pen, but I think it's just a learning curve, personally, because I think it can be worked with. It looks like you're going to have to use, you know, I press pretty hard when I write, so that could be part of the problem for me. So when you get it, if you decide to try these, you'll know. But you see, it's still really wet. I'm blowing on it, so. And I chose this jar because it's got a really smooth surface. So, I'm just going to lay it on there. Yeah. And that looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we go on, I wanted to say I was finding this pen a little bit frustrating, but I think I figured it out. So what I might suggest is that I have noticed that after I wiped something away, uh, 
it intensifies more quickly than it does when you initially use it. So maybe if you wipe it, it needs to be seasoned and dry it like that. And then right again. Just like that. And you can see it kind of intensify before your eyes. You can blow on it or you mm -hmm. can yeah. you can air dry it like that. And it works really well. So yeah. that's just a little helpful hint should you decide you want to give these a try. Um, make sure it's completely dry before you affix it to a jar. Otherwise, you might smear it. So, mm -hmm. But then again, you can always wipe it off and start over again. So, yeah, I wanted to break in and let you know that. Okay, so now to the good stuff. Um, these, this set of uh, 48 chalkboard labels actually retails for $30.95. But don't panic, because the people at Magic Mill have given me a smoking deal. If you want to give these a try, there's a link in the description bar below that's going to take you to um, a little screen for Amazon where you can leave your email and you can get a discount code that's going to give you 66% off which is going to make these $13.95 and if you want to give these a try then you can use that link leave your email they'll email you a coupon code and then that's going to give you an additional how did he write he wrote it to me he says that it's an additional 40% off the existing 26% off. So the regular retail is $30.95. If you go to the Amazon webpage, um, it's going to be 20 something. But they're going to give you a six, uh, an additional 40% off. That's going to make it $13.95. If you are Amazon Prime, then you pay no shipping. And you can only receive one at the discounted rate. So if you want to give these a try, I highly suggest that you do that. I think with Christmas coming, these would be really great as gift tags on packages. You can use them for place cards at parties. If you have like an open house buffet of some sort during the holidays, you can use these to set up in front of the dishes on your buffet and tell people what's in it, you know, what you're serving. And I, like I said, you use this to organize uh, children's toy, toy areas. You can use it to organize your mason jars, whatever it is. So I would like to just take an opportunity to thank Chris from Magic Mill for contacting me and asking me if I would review this product. And I was very happy to do so because I thought it was kind of a fun thing. And like I said, I'm a crafter. I'm a cook. I really like this personally. I thought it was a lot of fun to mess around with and I will be using these labels with the holidays coming. I can think of a lot of things to do with them. So I hope that if you are interested in trying out these Magic Mill chalkboard labels that you will go ahead and use the link below. Get your discount code and give them a try for 13 bucks. I mean what do you have to lose? So I hope you try it. I hope you love it. Thank you to Chris from Magic Mill and until next time I'll see ya. I was going to put in a wish jar. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!